Now, now back, 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 back to the Carl Nelson Show. On Washington, D.C.'s 1450. 1450 W.O.L. Radio. Right, thank you for staying with us, folks. Before we get back to Greg, just want to remind you, Mark from Anaheim is going to join us tomorrow. Uh, a lot of the stuff we talk about here he's going to touch on it as well. And Dr. Claude Anderson we're going to stop by on Monday. Let's go back to D. Gregory because I know he wants to talk about the stock market as well, how they reacted to Trump's victory. Greg? God bless. Yes. See, see, what happened is, if you know certain things, well, before we do the stock market, let's let's do the the the, the, the baseball playoffs. Uh, gamblers. Uh, you got the Chicago Cubs, and you got the Cleveland in there. Now, neither one of them teams have won. Who qualified to go to the World Series for a hundred and forty some years, <laughs> and white folks went. The cheapest tickets was four thousand dollars. So you you know how depressed they got to be to pay that kind of money to go see two teams that's been that bad that long. <laughs> now let's watch it, cause me and you are little punk gamblers. So if Cleveland. Beat Chicago three games in a row. So now, in order for Chicago to win, they got to win four in a row. In order for Cleveland to win, they got to win one. So here's how we gamble. There's no way anybody in their right mind can believe that here's a team that just beat you three games in a row. They need to win one. You need to win four. So the gamblers will bet unless they know the game is tricked or something. But the gamblers know that Cleveland will beat one game out of the next four, but they don't know which one it is. So you bet on Cleveland for all of them, and billions of dollars was lost. That's what this game is, huh? And so when you talk about gambling, there's people, the Pullman porters. Most of the Pullman porters, well, when the when the guy had them, Richard Pullman out of Chicago, he said there's enough white folks in America, he didn't say white, wealthy folks, to have their own train car where their food is cooked there, where they take baths, take showers, they have their private car. Now, before that, the only people that like presidents and heads of state, they would hook their cars on to the average train car. But now this, this car is theirs, okay? They hook it there, but they got different services. The Pullman porters, they, when they hired them, Richard Pullman, he said, we want some six-foot-three, dark-complected Negroes with beautiful white pearly teeth and a good smile. And so they put them together, and 98% of the Pullman porters died millionaires. Why? Because they heard these white folks. You invisible. They don't see you. You, you. And so... They heard these white folks talk about the deals they was going to pull, the stock market they was going to fix, so they went back, and they told it to the community. 99% of Pullman Porter's children went to college. Why? Because they hear these white folks talk. They know what's going to be tricked and what's not going to be tricked. And so consequently, if you don't have no information, you're just going by hunches, then why wouldn't you? So I listen to people. I listened to the show yesterday, and here's a brother call up, and he's right. Uh, for you to stoop to vote for the lesser of the two evils, you have to have evil in you, okay? That's how Hitler came to power, the lesser of the two evils. And you know, there's few people that know when Hitler came to power, he won by 288 votes. And if there's a God at all in there, we're not talking about the church, the Catholic church, the Baptist church. 
We're talking about the universal God that made the stars, the moon, the whole universe. That God do not take no slack. And so if somebody's raping a woman and I'm holding her, they can't get me for rape, but I've committed a crime somewhere. And so consequently, when we sit and talk about the lesser of the two evils, you damn right you should end up with the evil of the evil. And I say that knowing how many millions of dollars I spent on the movement, all the things I put my life on, I'm just as filthy as they are. Because every time I get on a plane, the last time I was on a big flight was here to Budapest, round trip, first class, $42,000 round trip plus 12% tax. That tax money go to this filthy government to buy bullets and guns to kill women and children on the ground. I got to pay for that, okay? So when it falls on my grandchildren and my children, I just look up and say, what took you so long? Y'all think y'all better? Y'all think that some church in yourself? You send your children to war because they can't find a job? Oh, and you can say that to the Catholic Church and the Baptist Church. And I'm not one of these church haters. Yeah, let me tell you what the church means and all you punks out there that don't know a damn thing. That's your fault. But there was a time when your grandmother died in Mississippi and you had to call the Baptist Church, the Lutheran Church, to get you a P route because there was no restaurant you could go into. There was no hotel you can, and you better not be caught sleeping on the highway. And to get on a bus or a train, it was segregated, and you got so you called the Reverend, and they called somebody. You get you have a child arrested, or you arrested. You didn't call a lawyer. You didn't have none. You called the church, and a member in that church would come and fix it, or have the preacher called in to the judge, and they might cut you some slack with no bail putting up. So all this stuff, y'all sitting here talking about all this crap, the Black Panthers. Let me tell you, Huey Newton and Elders Cleaver was government agents. Now, y'all talk all that crap you want. The reason they killed, I told my said, yeah, they, they stood up a thing, they stood up a damn thing. The food program was set up by Fred Hampton in Chicago, and that's why they killed him. When they got through using Eldridge Cleaver, which wasn't nothing but a, a, a drug-pushing punk, they killed him. When they got through using using Eldridge, the, uh, uh, I mean, they made like he was peeping in a white woman's window on a ladder and slipped and fell. So this is the game. So that's okay. You get what you pay for. I mean, and when you think about the brilliant people that calls into this show, you know, and we don't have to pay no money. But when you sit and you listen, my mother hears the stuff I see on this show and the rest of them. She had called the police on me, and that's my mother. My mother told me Santa Claus was a white man, and she was buying the toys. Huh? And are you stupid enough to believe the Ku Klux Klan determined public policy? You are some kind of fool. Most of them can't read or write, ain't never been to school. Huh? But they determined public policy. If Donald Trump was doing something that the rich Republicans, like Henry Ford, Rockefeller, DuPont, if he was doing something they didn't want there to put a bullet through his head a long time ago like they did Kennedy. And so, but this is a game. And I, you, you, you turn on this show because you get to hear stuff. You can tell when, when Anaheim comes on. You can tell people. They call in, and then how many people trick and call in? You can catch them because you're out there. You know because you've been doing the show for so long. And so consequently, when you sit up and listen to that crap they was running down, and I say this again, if any of you ever looked at Trump's TV shows, brilliant, wipe the networks out. Now, how he gets so stupid all at once? How did he get so stupid all at once, huh? You know? If you hadn't listened to this show, you wouldn't have known that Hillary and Trump are cousins, okay? The New York Times not running it, okay? This is the game. And so consequently, we sit and we look at the stuff they put on TV about Ferguson. When he came out that liquor store, he had on flip-flops, 
and short pants 15 minutes later, he laying dead out there in long pants and Nike tennis and put it right in front of your face? But you've been reduced to such a nothing, 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 you don't even see it. Here's a brother said with him, Johnson said, oh, his hands was up. That went all over the world. His hands was up. And then one day I get a call and say the FBI has him under federal protection, just like Malcolm. When I found out they had Malcolm's autopsy, I called and I said to my contact, I said, look, what y'all doing? That wasn't a federal crime. When Malcolm was, got killed, he wasn't robbing the bank. What are you all doing with it? So I get a copy of the autopsy, okay? And so now I'm saying this to say this here. So when you sit and you listen to what they tell us, so we go back to Ferguson. He's laying there for four hours. You didn't see an ambulance. You didn't see a, a, nobody show up from the coroner's office. Then we find out that his best friend, the one that told the world his hands was up, we found out that, oh, he had a, 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 his best friend. Why is he under federal protection? Well, then we found out that when the guy, now I went there, it's like 30 miles from where I was born. And there, they was 24 hours a day. I said, well, I've never seen this much joy. 24 hours a day, the black folks was demonstrating in their cars, honking their horns with their children. And we know this no violence started till nighttime. So why did the the, president, the, the prosecutor decide to read the results at 8 o'clock at night and not 12 noon? And then we found out Johnson, who said his hands was up, we found out. He was a state witness and said he lied, okay? That's what this country is about. Said he lied, and that night, two blocks from where the prosecutor, the, the, the state's attorney was reading the indictment to found him free, Johnson's best friend was killed, murdered two blocks away, and only one paper ran it, and that was the the, the Washington Post, and they compared it to out of all the worst lynchings that's ever been. This would have topped them. And you don't know about it, but y'all want to call in and great, you know. But understand, you're not going to ride around in a 40 year shivy and compete with that other person's brand new Rolls Royce. It don't work that way in America. And so the thing that we're lucky because the respect people have for Kathy Hughes and the radio station. and, 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 and Hang on a second, Greg. We've got to take, we take a quick break here. We're at the top of the hour. I'll let you finish, and then we'll t- touch on what's going on with Donald Trump right here on 1450. W-O-L, where information is power. Welcome to the Carl Nelson Show on Washington, D.C.'s 1450 W-O-L radio and live around the world on WOLDCnews.com. Thanks for staying with us, folks. Our guest is Dick Gregory. We're talking about uh, a lot of things, but basically we're talking about uh, Donald Trump and his win. And, Greg, I'm going to let you finish up what you were saying. And then a tweeter wanted to know about, uh, ask him about the Russia. They gave, uh, the, the, they're toasting Donald Trump in Russia. Is it, what's the significance of that? Well, first, let me just finish this here. And so what we're looking at is a whole lot of craziness. When we get the autopsy, of Malcolm X, all the bullets in Malcolm is going down. Them black cats, they paid to kill Malcolm. They was on the floor shooting up. We said, wait a minute, what is this about? And then we find out, two weeks before, we found out the CIA was in there. And that's where they cut the holes in the wall, and they were shooting down. That's how Malcolm was killed. But the important thing about Malcolm... <coughs> is when he went to Africa and met up with the Pinto, one of the fine minds on the planet. He stayed there for like 18 weeks, and he came back. He was a different person. So the Pinto decided they would go to the doorsteps of the U.N., not the U.N., because they can keep you out of there, but on the doorsteps and take 
racism to the doorstep to the United Nations. That was the game. That morning, when they was shooting Malcolm in New York at the same time, Nairobi time, they were shooting the pinto in the head. Huh? Uh, you mean the, the, the nation, Islam had something to do with that? Huh? That, and so what I'm saying is, you come up with theory, Bill Cosby, if I had to take over the Bill Cosby, I'd go to the Freedom of Information Act and say, okay, I want to know how much oil is under the land of that property he got in Pennsylvania, more than they got in Kuwait. Do that mean it didn't happen? No, it don't mean it didn't happen. But I'm saying that's not what they after him about, okay? And so when you said when his son was murdered, the one thing Bill knew, and I'm sure that had effect, the car he bought him had a reboot. No other car in the world but that Mercedes, a reboot is if you get a flat tire, it will reboot and fix itself. So here's somebody who was killed. First, it's stupid to believe that he's on the highway doing 80 miles an hour and somebody's going to try to stick him up. Okay? The other thing is that he had $6,000 cash, his credit card. Six months later, they arrested an American citizen who was a Russian immigrant. When we checked it out, he was in Mexico that night. We go and we get the, 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 the legal work from the cops who said it was a robbery. You didn't say it then. And so what I'm saying is that you hear it and they just turn it into gossip. You know Darn good and well, any of y'all got any sense at all, the average black or white entertainer athlete can do anything they want to do to a woman, and nobody seems to care, huh? Because they athletes, and, and they this and they that. And so consequently, when you stop and think about just Trump, and then I'll get right back to the lady's question, Trump, he's on an airplane, and... A woman is on the plane, and she's sitting in economy. She says somebody brings her up front hmm, and sit her next to a man in first class. Who's Donald Trump? Hmm? Then all at once, she says, Donald Trump, listen to this now. Start playing with her. She says she didn't mind it when he was reaching, playing with her bosom. But when he reached under her skirt and went on left, oh, she got out. With, well, first, most people heard that story. They made sure you heard it. Well, what did you hear? You didn't hear the name of the airline. Huh? If I'm in a cab and the cab driver have a wreck, I don't sue the cab driver. He might not have no money. I sue the company. How come she didn't sue the airline and how come no newspaper ran the airline? Nobody can come and take me from first class, from 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 the economy to first. Unless oh, they have something to do with the airline. Who was the airline? Who was the person that carried me up front? And how come that woman didn't call the police? How come there's not a lawsuit against the airline? Are y'all crazy? They just throw it out there, and all at once we gobble it up, and then two days later you start looking at stuff. And it don't make sense at all. And so, again, I'm saying when you sit and look, we've been knowing what ever since Trump got in, he would win. But it's not going to stop there. Okay? It's going to go further than that. And you haven't seen the last of this yet. Okay? And it could jump off tomorrow or the next day. And so what we're saying is the lady asked a question about what was the question about Russia? Yeah, how, the Russians are toasting him, and they seem happy with with Trump. What's going on there? Is some is some sort of collusion? Didn't didn't Francis Welch tell you that white supremacy have no boundaries? The average white person you met, Lister, you ain't they ain't white, huh? They're not white at all, and so consequently, they asked me. How, how, how I know if I'm white, call the stock market. And if while you talking, you can't make the stock go up or come down, you ain't white. 
Now, now look at that. We get back to the the Russian piece. Look, look, look at the stock market. The day before the election, the people sold, called sell high. Then the next day of the election, they came back and bought, right back, because if my stock is is worth a thousand dollars a share, and I sell it, I get a thousand dollars, and I know the stock market going to crash down to thirty dollars, I buy back. Hmm? That's that's what. It it's about, but you have to have a tip to know what's going to happen. And so that's what happened. What made such a difference in Monday that you could sell it high and then come back Tuesday to the election and buy low? So if the stock was worth $1,000 when you sold it and now it's worth 30 look at the money you made. huh? And so this is what this is about. But we sit here, an uh, outsider, and somewhere if I could wave a magic wand, I let you black folk go to Germany and study. Frances, she's not with us now. She studied in Germany, and she didn't do it for free. So y'all think y'all can just do something for free, and it's okay? I sit and I listen to you all talk on this show. One of the fine human beings on this planet huh, was Marcus Garvey. And then you black folk call him and say, well, we got to go to the president, and uh, we need to get a... Uh, uh, what was it, 100,000 signatures. You had two years to get them. You couldn't get 25. I love black folk. I died for black folk. I wouldn't have listened to you neither. You punks, you got this much time for somebody like that, but you can fill up a damn concert that has nothing to offer but some some craziness. But this man here and those of you that hated it want to talk about the president? doing this and not doing that, I wouldn't do it for you neither, and I'm blacker than most of you all are, okay? But yet and still, you sit around and talk about two years. That don't say he was going to do it, but I would have been ashamed to get on this radio show and talk about the time you had, and you couldn't get 25,000 signatures, less than 200,000, and you're going to blame the president for it? Something's wrong. And so once you hear that, now to get back to, to the lady about the Russians, they ain't nothing but bosom friends, lady. Listen, we bought trillions of dollars from the Chinese, huh? and yet we accuse them of hacking everything over here. You think that ain't a deal already cut? We accuse them of hacking us. Did it ever dawn on you that it might be a group over there in China that hates the ones in power, and any time they get ready to do something, they got to justify it. The last time the president was there, a couple of weeks ago, they said, oh, they humiliated him. Uh, the red carpet wasn't down. <laughs> so that satisfies they jive friends over there who's against them. The richest country in the world, I'm going to say it twice. And remember, when you listen to me, truth don't have to be validated by your ignorance, okay? The richest country in the world is North Korea, okay? North Korea. But what do you hear, NBC and them saying, oh, they, they, they children are starving. Have you ever seen a starving child over there? They got army. They got technology. All them nuclear bombs they've been shooting our way, they didn't bar them. They put that together themselves. How'd they get it? Well, it's just like one day... We find out nappy hair cure cancer. Do you know how much how valuable your hair is worth? Do you know how many white folks want you to live in the neighborhood so they can be next to the cancer treatment? Do you know how many black folks be wearing caps with locks on them? Well, let me tell you what happened. Korea it wasn't no North and South Korea. It was one Korea. And they found out one day the tungsten they've had for millions of years, which wasn't nothing they could do with it. Because you mixed it with metal and new inventions and stuff. And they go through temperature change. Nobody needed it. The only thing America had a problem with temperature change every now and then, the railroad tracks would crack in the wintertime. But it wasn't that, wasn't that much to happen. So now all at once, to get into the missile race, the space race, and get into all the new technology 
like radar, you have to have tungsten because it goes through temperature stains. Right. Hold, hold that thought right there, Greg. And we got a bunch of folks who want to got questions for you. 800-450-7876. We'll come back to you, Gregory, and your questions after we look at the traffic and weather right here on 1450. W-O-L, where information is power. Dad, oh, he had a, uh, his best friend. Why is he under federal protection? Well, then we found out that when the guy, uh, I went there, like 30 miles from where I was born. And there, there was 24 hours a day. I said, wow, there was so much joy. 24 hours a day, the black folks were demonstrating in their cars, honking their horns with their children. And we know that no violence started till nighttime. So why did the, the president, the, the, the prosecutor, decide to read the results at 8 o'clock at night and not 12 noon? And then we found out Johnson, who said his hands was up, we found out he was a state witness and said he lied, okay? That's what this country is about. Said he lied, and that night, two blocks from where the prosecutor, the, the, the state's attorney, was reading the indictment and found him free. Johnson's best friend was killed, murdered two blocks away. And only one paper ran it, and that was the the, the Washington Post. And they compared it to out of all the worst lynchings that's ever been recorded. This would have topped them. And you don't know about it? But y'all want to call in and great, you know. But understand, you're not going to ride around in a 40 year Chevy and compete with that other person's brand new Rolls Royce. It don't work that way in America. And so the thing that we're lucky because the respect people have for Kathy Hughes and the radio station. And, 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 and Hang on a second, Greg. We got to take, take a quick break here at the top of the hour. I'll let you finish, and then we'll t- touch on what's going on with Donald Trump right here on 1450. W-O-L, where information is power. I'm not just thinking of this whole time here, since Dick Gregory, we're talking about uh, a lot of things, but basically we're talking about Donald Trump and his win. And Greg, I'm going to let you finish up what you were saying, and then the tweeter wanted to know about, uh, ask him about the Russia. They gave, uh, the, they're toasting Donald Trump in Russia. Is it, what's the significance of that? Well, first, let me just finish this here. And so what we're looking at is a whole lot of craziness. When we get the autopsy, of Malcolm X, all the bullets in Malcolm is going down. Them black cats, they paid to kill Malcolm. They was on the floor shooting up. We said, wait a minute, what is this about? And then we find out, two weeks before, we found out the CIA was in there. And that's where they cut the holes in the wall and they were shooting down. That's how Malcolm was killed. But the important thing about Malcolm, <coughs> is when he went to Africa and met up with the Pinto, one of the fine minds on the planet. He stayed there for like 18 weeks and he came back, he was a different person. So the Pinto decided they would go to the doorsteps of the UN, not the UN, because they can keep you out of there, but on the doorsteps and take racism to the doorstep to the United Nation. That was the game. That morning, when they was shooting Malcolm in New York at the same time, Nairobi time, they were shooting the Pinto in the head. Huh? Uh, you mean the, the, the nation of Islam had something to do with that? Huh? That, and so what I'm saying is, you come up with theory, Bill Cosby. If I had to take over the Bill Cosby, I'd go to the Freedom of Information Act and say, okay, I want to know how much oil is under the land of that property he got in Pennsylvania, more than they got in Kuwait. Do that mean it didn't happen? No, I don't mean it didn't happen. But I'm saying that's not what they after him about, okay? And so when you said, when his son was murdered, the one thing Bill knew and I'm sure that had effect. The car he bought him had a reboot, 
no other car in the world but that Mercedes or reboot is if you get a flat tire, it will reboot and fix itself. So here's somebody who was killed. First, it's stupid to believe that he's on the highway doing 80 miles an hour and somebody's going to try to stick him up. Okay? The other thing is that he had $6,000 cash, his credit cards. Six months later, they arrested an American citizen who was a Russian immigrant. When we checked it out, he was in Mexico that night. We go and we get the, 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 the legal work from the cops who said it was a robbery. You didn't say it then. And so what I'm saying is that you hear it and they just turn it into gossip. You know darn good and well any of y'all got any sense at all the average Black or white entertainer athlete can do anything they want to do to a woman and nobody seems to care, huh? Because they athletes and, and they this and they that. And so consequently, when you stop and think about this Trump, and I'll get right back to the lady's question, Trump, he's on an airplane and a woman is on the plane and she's sitting in the economy. She says somebody brings her up front hmm? and sit her next to a man in first class. Who's Donald Trump? Hmm? And all at once she say, Donald Trump, let's say this now. Start playing with her. She said she didn't mind it when he was reaching on her bosom. But when he reached under her skirt and went on left, oh, she got out with well, first. Most people heard that story. They made sure you heard it. Well, what did you hear? You didn't hear the name of the airline. Huh? If I'm in a cab and the cab driver have a wreck, I don't sue the cab driver. He might not have no money. I sue the company. How come she didn't sue the airline and how come no newspaper ran the airline? Nobody can come and take me from first class from 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 the economy the first oh, unless they have something to do with the airline. Who was the airline? Who was the person that cabbed me up front? And how come that woman didn't call the police? How come there's not a lawsuit against the airline? Are you crazy? They just throw it out there. And all at once we gobble it up. And then two days later you start looking at stuff and it don't make sense at all. And so again I'm saying when you sit and look, we've been knowing what, ever since Trump got in, he would win. But it's not going to stop there, okay? It's going to go further than that, and you haven't seen the last of this yet, okay? And it could jump off tomorrow or the next day. And so what we're saying is the lady asked a question about, what was the question about Russia? Yeah, how, Russians are toasting there and they seem happy with, with Trump. What's going on there? Is, what's some, is some sort of collusion? Didn't, didn't Francis Welch tell you that white supremacy have no boundaries? The average white person you met, listen, you ain't, they ain't white. Huh? They're not white at all. And so consequently, they asked me, how, how, how I know if I'm white? Call the stock market. And if why you talking, you can't make the stock go up or come down, you ain't white. Now, now look at that. We get back to the, the Russian piece. Look, look, look at the stock market. The day before the election, the people sold, called sell high. And the next day of the election, they came back and bought right back. Because if my stock is, is worth a thousand dollars a share, and I sell it, I get a thousand dollars, and I know the stock market gonna crash down to thirty dollars. I buy back. Hmm? That's that's what it's about. But you have to have a tip to know what's gonna happen. And so that's what happened. What made such a difference in Monday that you could sell it higher and then come back Tuesday to the election and buy low. So if the stock was worth a thousand dollars when you sold it and now it's worth 30. Look at the money you made, huh? And so this is what this is about. But we sit here, an outsider, and somewhere if I could wave a magic wand, 
I'll let you black folk go to Germany and study. France, she's not with us now. She studied in Germany, and she didn't do it for free. So y'all think y'all can just do something for free? And it's okay. I sit now listening to you all talk on this show. One of the fine human beings on this planet huh, was Marcus Garvey. And then you black folk call him and say, well, we got to go to the president, and uh, we need to get, uh, uh, what was it, 100,000 signatures. You had two years to get them. You couldn't get 25. I love black folk. I'll die for black folk. I wouldn't have listened to you neither. You punks, you got this much time for somebody like that, but you can fill up a damn concert that has nothing to offer but some some craziness. But this man here, and those of you that hated it, want to talk about the president? Doing this and not doing that, I wouldn't do it for you neither. And I'm blacker than most of you all are, okay? But yet and still, you sit around and talk about two years. That don't say he was going to do it. But I would have been ashamed to get on this radio show and talk about the time you had. And you couldn't get 25,000 signatures, less than 200,000. And you're going to blame the president for it. Something's wrong. And so, once you hear that, now to, to get back to, to the lady about the Russians, hey, ain't nothing but bosom friends, lady. Listen, we bought trillions of dollars from the Chinese, huh? And yet we accused them of hacking everything over here. You think that ain't a deal already cut? We accused them of hacking us. Did it ever dawn on you that it might be a group over there in China that hates the ones in power, and any time they get ready to do something, they got to justify it. The last time the president was there, a couple of weeks ago, they said, oh, they humiliated him. Uh, the red carpet wasn't down. <laughs> so that satisfies they jive friends over there who's against them. The richest country in the world, I'm going to say it twice. And remember, when you listen to me, truth don't have to be validated by your ignorance, okay? The richest country in the world is North Korea, okay? North Korea. But what do you hear NBC and them saying? Oh, they, they, they children, the have you ever seen a starving child over there? They got army, they got technology, all them nuclear bombs they've been shooting our way, they didn't bomb them. They put that together themselves. How'd they get it? Well, it's just like one day we find out nappy hair cure cancer. You know how much value, how valuable your hair is worth? You know how many white folks want you to live in the neighborhoods so they can be next to the cancer treatment? You know how many black folks be wearing caps with locks on them? Well, let me tell you what happened. Korea wasn't no North and South Korea. It was one Korea. And they found out one day the tungsten they've had for millions of years, which wasn't nothing they could do with it. Because you mixed it with metal, new inventions and stuff. And it go through temperature change. Nobody needed it. The only thing America had a problem with temperature change every now and then, the railroad tracks would crack in the wintertime. But it wasn't that, wasn't that much of happen. So now all at once to get into the missile race, the space race, and get into all the new technology like radar, you have to have tungsten because it goes through temperature span. Right. Hold, hold that thought right there, Greg. We got a bunch of folks who want to got questions for you. 800 450 7876. We'll come back to Dick Gregory and your questions after we look at the traffic and weather right here on 1450. Thank you for staying with us tonight, guest, to Dick Gregory. 800 450 7876. Greg, you want to finish or do you want to take some calls? Yeah, look, yeah, just finish this real quick. So you got the Chinese over there loaning us all this money. And we're going to attack them? About, come on, you you got more sense than that. You're going to attack them. They're over here taking everything they can. They, they, they broke into the Pentagon and they're getting all this here. Cyber attacks. Come on, y'all. Now, watch this here. We go and we look at the Chinese. And we thought they were stupid. That's that racism. White supremacy. And then one thing happened. When the Korean War was over, and let me tell y'all something. If there's a book out 
that Senator John McCain wrote apologizing to his daddy by turning traitor. You mean NBC don't know that? And everybody stood up and said, well, Trump, you, 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 uh, no, no, no. You get it. You get it. Oh, Paul, just have somebody come on the show. They, you, you, you can Google it or you can get it at the, at, at the bookstore where he apologized to his daddy when he was shot down. The, the general that ran the North Vietnam was General Geop. And I knew a friend of his that I was close to him through his friend. And I would get calls from North, from, from France, where they had a legitimate embassy there. When the France went into Vietnam, they came out and they made a deal. We were on all the banks. When America went into Vietnam, they wanted to have script. And the French government said, General, go, no, no, you're going to pay us cash. Okay, no script. So then they got back to the goal and said, look, well, we can't afford to pay you money for the script you use in the fight the war and also pay the price we pay to have NATO in Paris. So General de Gaulle said, well, take them out of here. And that's when NATO went to New York. And so all these are deals that they doing and cutting deals. And y'all sitting here, you don't even know where to get a good cup of coffee. But yet and still, you can take the crap you hear on day stations, hmm? on day stations, and run that whole thing down. And the real stuff, 1.5 million black men is missing. And all you got to do is Google. A lot of stuff I tell y'all, I wouldn't even tell you if you couldn't prove it by white folks. All you do is after this show is over, Google, okay? 1.5 million black, a New York Times story. And missing don't mean they in jail or they run away, okay? Here's a woman kin to some basketball player in Chicago. And she walking down the street with a baby buggy. And they tell you some gang bangers on the other side of the street is chasing another gang. And they shooting at them and hit the baby. And you ask yourself a question. What kind of animals you think they are that will tell you that there's some black men, they know who it is, so I can wait till tonight to get them. But I see a woman pushing a baby buggy, and I shoot and kill the baby, and y'all suck enough to believe that about babies that come out your belly? You believe anything and then sit and want to discuss it. And I'm going to tell you again. Hillary, I didn't want to talk about because I didn't want to be blamed for causing what happened, okay? I didn't want to be blamed at all. But you could see that's what they was doing. They were saying, oh, the, the black folk, Donna Brazil, they chomp on the shoulder of the day. They, they fired John Donna Brazil. Well, they should have. Hmm? Why? Because they said she was giving the questions to Hillary. Well, wait a minute. And this brother talking about Wait a minute. It was nothing. Well, how do you know she was giving? Well, wait a minute. If airline pilots had to take a test and you found out I was giving them the test, how would you feel about it? Huh? And that's called cheating. So all of this stuff you have. And so again, I'm saying that many of us do it. And call. this is something you know, so I'm going to just do it real quick. The woman that the cops killed, Riverside, California. Hmm. She was having a, 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 a seizure. And she stopped her car, got out, flagged down the car, and a white guy pulled over. And she said, this is my nephew. I'm having an epileptic seizure. Here's my address. Would you take him to my mother and tell her where I am? Bim. So now the mother shows up. She's back up on the filming station clothes or out of business and she bangs on the window and those of y'all know about epileptics you can go out and you can bite your tongue off and so she was trying to beat her she called the police can you imagine a mother called the police about your child and then two cops show up and shoot her in the head 14 times and you called them now the reason i'm telling you about this story they threw a gun in the car but they didn't say that 
they said, well, he fired at us. Now, had they stopped there, there, they'd be free now. The $13 million settlement never had to happen. But they said she fired at us, and when they got the gun, they found the gun didn't have a pin. Had they just said she aimed it at us. And so all at once now, all of this, then we find out one of the cops was having a birthday. They was at a bar celebrating his birthday, and when they got the call, they was angry. This black thing here, we had to stop the party, and that's when they shot her dead. But y'all think that there's, oh, there's some good cops in there. I don't doubt that, but any time a lawyer lose his license for malpractice, you don't hear nobody say there's good lawyers and bad lawyers. Any time a doctor lose his license for malpractice, you don't hear him say there's good doctors and bad. Why y'all have to say that about this? And so again, I'm saying, when you sit and look at this whole thing, it's nothing but a trick. And when you, you lady, lady, when you write in about the, 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 the Russians and their, all oh, that's buddy, buddy crap, okay? All oh, that's buddy crap. Y'all, most of you know how to make good cornbread, okay? You know how to make chitlins. But I asked a white person to make some chitlins. They know how to do it. They ask you about white folk business. You don't know what it's about. They spend thousands, millions of dollars for research. And yet and still, you think you can just come up with something and there's no money to back it up? And then again, I said, when <coughs> Martha... I'll tell you what, Greg, because we got some folks been home for quite a while. They, okay. they really got questions for you. All Let's right. go to line six. D. Carl's, uh, uh, and I thank you for your patience in, in Baltimore. You have a question for Dick Gregory. Yeah, thank you, Carl. Uh, uh, it's uh, a pleasure again to be on the phone with Dick Gregory. God bless you, brother, and the family. Yeah, you told me once before it, it's, a, it's a privilege to put on the magic sunglasses. And I tell my friends, I got the sunglasses on, I got five vocals. So I'm able to see, I'm able to see the, the, the crap that uh, white supremacists do, and I'm able to see the crap that so-called uh, black people do. But with that being said, I guess my question is, and you mentioned about Martin, well, about Malcolm, and I'm, I'm going to say Martin, too. When they stepped outside of the quote-unquote American system and took their uh, 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 issues to an a international stage or to, over to Africa, that's when they became a threat. Why is it so hard for us to realize that we cannot sit here and try to uh, uh, ask for privileges and rights in this wicked system? We have to look outside of this system. Well, let me say this first to you. No, I'm not stopping you. Let me say this first. I told you, once you put the magic glasses on, you can never take them off. You can never force nobody else to wear them. If you're riding around in a brand new Rolls Royce, don't expect my mother, who's on welfare, to have one too. That's your fault. And you can never see, once you put them on, things as it's supposed to be, you see things as they are. And that's where the power is on that. Paul Nelson has a show here. And because of Kathy Hughes, she built that network up. And all at once Carl came from the Stevie Wonder station where he had the number one show in L.A., not the number one black station, in L.A. Four o'clock in the morning, them folks was waking up, turning it on. And so again, you already said it. You got the magic glasses on. Don't take them off, but look there and see. Now, before we get to your last question, let me throw this at you. You black folks want to see what kind of power you got? No, let me check it. God made Adam. I had no problem with that. But when Adam said to God, I am lonely, and God didn't, how can you be lonely? Ain't nobody here but you. I made two of everything except you. You buy into that? He's lonely and ain't nobody here but him. Now, here's, I'm going to give you a shortcut. Those of you all that's listening, and those of you all that have friends that trust you, tell them that starting tomorrow at 12 noon, wherever you are at 12 noon your time, pray to the universal God. And you don't pray but one time. You say one prayer, and after that, you pray a prayer of thank you, because you know it's going to happen. 
12 noon. You don't need no money. You don't need no how to read and write. Just pray to that God, universal, that the truth will come out about this election. And then you know where your power is. Don't get on there crapping out and long prayers and all that crap. You don't need no long prayers. When you tell me some stuff some white folks wrote, that when David, David, became king of Israel, and before they were free, God told them, said, tomorrow, Right, hold that thought, Greg. I'll let you finish on the other side. D. Carl, I thank you for your call. 800-450-7876. Speak to Dick Gregory. Your call's next on 1450. W-O-L, where information is power. Thanks for staying with us. I guess this is Dick Gregory. 800-450-7876. Greg, I'm going to let you finish up your response. Okay, good. Want to talk to you. So, again, what I'm about to say, when God, then God ain't spiritual nothing. That's the wrong name. God means power. That's why they could call the mob the Godfather. And then it has nothing to do with spirituality. When you want to talk to God, the name is I am God. Don't talk. It's a vibration. You can be in a restaurant tonight and you hear that wind blowing and the trees rocking. And you say, we better get away from this window. Trees don't talk. It's vibrations. And so all I'm saying to you is when you look at David, he's a slave in Egypt. And that God force said, I'm a liberation. Put the blood on the door. You tell me God that made all the stars, all the rivers, all the lakes, all the streams. Don't know I'm in there if I don't put some blood on the door. Come on, y'all. Hmm? So when you get past that and see the power you have, then you see things are changing. And you should have been able to see it. I know you wouldn't have. My mama wouldn't have seen it neither. But what was going on with Trump? You said you got some dumb folk walking around your house. Got more sense than Trump had. If you about to believe that crap. So that's what it is. When he called the black doctor. The pedophile. Then the next day, Carson came out and joined him. Well, if I'd have imagined... Cross not to say all you have to say is it takes one to know one. Hmm? And so when you sit up, how did you know he's homosexual? Because he's attacked at everything but homosexuals. How do you know? Hmm? You see it. I mean, he's one of them homosexuals that hate women. Hmm? Hate the ground a woman walk on. That's what you see. And I don't expect you to know that. But there's something in your head that says he's attacked the Pope. He's attacked at religion. He's attacked to every group of people. And then you don't know them white folks out there just want him to change. He wasn't talking to black folks. They just want the right to be able to say, I didn't vote for the lesser of the two evils. Uh, 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 uh. And so that's what it's about. you born with that. You don't have to go to Harvard or Yale to learn that. And finally, and we take the next call. When them thug white boys, Abraham Lincoln, Ben Franklin decided they was going to take July the 4th, 1976 at 12 noon, and they was going to create a symbol of liberty. And they said they was honest enough to say, we can't be the symbol because we own too many slaves. And anybody would own another human being, that means you rape them, you rape your daughter, their daughters, their sons, and everything. They knew they couldn't be a symbol. So they said, well, see this bell here? See, let's scrub this down tonight and tomorrow, July the 4th, 1776, at 12 noon, we're going to hit the bell. And that will be a symbol of liberty. And when they hit that bell, that universal God cracked that bell from the bottom all the way up to the top. And they didn't have the sense because their mind was to turn it around. So anytime you look at, look at the symbol of American. Liberty is a crack bell. Don't nobody need to tell you nothing else. This is what this is about. And so again, I'm saying that it ain't over yet. Hmm? It's not over yet. 85% of the American armed forces is not Americans because they know white boys, when the martial law is here, they ain't going to come in the community and shoot their white folks down. So they got foreigners in here now. 
that that that, that, that they not here on welfare. They not here as refugees. They came in as citizens, and that's the deal they made. And I'm telling you, not it's not over now. But if you listen to your spirit, twelve noon every day, just pray that the truth will come out one time, and then at twelve noon, just say thank you, thank you, thank you, mother, father, and you'll see something that'll happen. That then you'll know the power you have. Thank you, brother. Next 800-450-7876. May is calling from Sacramento on line one. May, your question for Dick Gregory? Brother Nate, God bless. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I love you so much. You are just spitting out so much truth. Um, I just uh, wanted to add and ask you something. Um, actually, you know, I woke up yesterday morning, although I did vote for Hillary reluctantly, um, but I woke up yesterday morning thinking, you know, it's all over. It's, 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 it's going to be Trump. And actually, you know, like my thing, my thinking is that there's a connection here between our election and Brexit. And to me that, you know, America is, is, is still part of England. So wherever Brexit goes, that's where we go. And as far as we as black people, my thought on that is that this is just a wake-up call for black men, not us women. It's time for the black men to unite. All our little kids that are out there shooting each other, the grown men, you guys got to handle that. If it means right. that you got to hey, do, do us a work, favor, real, real, because we got to race the clock. We got a bunch of folks okay. who got questions okay. for you. Listen, miss, what you just said, the New York Times story, July the 23rd, 2009, is talking about something like 30-some folks got arrested for traffic, traffic in organs, okay? The reason black men's organs sell more because a black man's organ is more valuable than a woman's organ. And I remember I used to stand in a nightclub and I said, uh, we're not going to we're not going to be your spare parts. Oh, how, how well did I know I was wrong? And so again, I'm saying, punch up the story and then go to uh, the, the UCLA sued by some black folks for misusing organs. The number one organ seller is John Hopkins, okay? Right around the corner from Washington, D.C. And so when you sit and think about it, all the technology they have now and they tell you and all them white folks out there that don't know you that that the airline malaysian airline disappeared <laughs> and you know you know trillions of dollars they spent before they made that airplane and malaysian airline malaysia they got a hundred and 92 different airlines that fly in there. Do you ever ask yourself, I guess you can't because you didn't know it. Have you ever asked yourself, now you know it, why are there many airlines going there? Wow. You ever bought anything say made in Asia? Okay. And so consequently, that's the, the rich boys, billionaire, whole capital of the world. If you want a three-year-old child or a two-year-old child, when you check in, they'll be in bed waiting for you. That's what that crap is about. Okay. Uh, but I'm saying to you, just real quick, don't get into the more long prayers, which don't mean nothing to nobody but you. Just ask the universal God that the truth will come out of right. what happened in this election. And it ain't over. Because if tonight they say, oh, wait a minute, we miscounted. Hillary won. They got to bring out the guard. They got to bring out the, the army. Because the fake war will start. And once martial law is declared, you come out the house, you can be shot. Once martial law is declared and everything is shut down, you got food in the deep freeze. When the lights go off, it thaws out. The lights come back on, it refreezes. If you eat it, then that's botulism disease. And so again, I said, you know, you have the power Vaseline petroleum jelly, and you mothers and fathers out there use it on your baby, put all over your body. Don't it say Vaseline? Huh? That means gasoline, and you got a newborn baby, two years old, putting that crap on that child. 
wonder why they act the way they act. Somewhere. It's out there. And there's a universal God that didn't make you where well, you got to get information. You mothers and fathers out there, you don't have to take your child somewhere and send a message to them. You already hear the message. If the child is in one room and you in another, you can hear the vibration and know if they're happy or sad. So thank you much. Thank you much. Uh, before I take another call, somebody tweeted and said that uh, they said that you said there probably wasn't going to be an election. And if you still stand by that, and uh, it, it, does that mean that there may not be a swearing in? No, no. Just what I said. There may not be an election. Okay. All right. Now let me, let me, let me. Uh, show you something here, and then all of y'all need to check it out, okay? It may not be an election. <laughs> so if I sold you a brand new Rolls Royce on your birthday, and then you found it was a Chevy, <laughs> this here is the Wall Street Journal, the number one business paper in the world by day count. The Wall Street Journal, okay, November the 7th, not the 8th. Now, let me tell you why I want you to see this. The Wall Street Journal, the election was November the 4th. I ran as an independent write-in candidate, okay? That night, they had to shut all the computers down because it was saying the presumption President-elect is Dick Gregory. Did you hear me? Now, listen what it says. Election computers goofed. Gave Gregory 9 million votes in the state of Pennsylvania. That's how I could say that. Okay? You ain't had no election. All that was is these computers tricking. Say, take the, take the computers in, 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 in Pennsylvania. Gave Gregory 9 million votes and they had to share. Oh, this is the Wall Street Journal. Right. Hold that thought, Greg. We're going to take a quick break. 800 450 7876. Speak to Dick Gregory. We'll take your calls next on 1450. W O L, where information is power. 1450 W O L Radio. Hey, Sam, with us. We'll get back to Dick Gregory in a moment. Uh, 800 450 7876. Just want to remind you uh, coming up uh, tomorrow. Mark from Anaheim is going to be here. Monday, uh, Dr. Claude Anderson is going to be here as well. So tell your friends to keep it locked on 1450 WOL. Greg, I'm going to let you finish up your answer to that tweet question about what you allegedly said. Well, you're talking about the Russians? Uh, yeah, well, let's do the Russians thing because I guess you finished with the, about the elections. Yeah, well, they, they, the whole thing about the Russians, all that ain't nothing but that white crap bull that you said, because it ain't your business. Hmm? It's not your business at all. How many of y'all knew 1.5 million blacks are missing till you heard it on this show? Huh? This so is what I'm saying is when you sit and you look at what they saying and what they doing, and you automatically come up, and the reason y'all know as much as you do now is you got Brother Darren have access to this show. There's, there's Mark from Anaheim have access to this show. So you hear stuff, that, and if you think, you can be stupid enough to believe the stuff you hear us saying that all them white right-wing shows don't hear it. They hear it. They're just scared to say it. That's what they do. They hear it. All them generals see nothing to be around any better than an old white Christian evil devil because they're trying to get into hell. We may want. That's how we found out that king didn't die on the balcony. He died in the hospital. And the word went out two days that he's going to be shot. And there's only one hospital the first responders can take him. And if he's not dead when he gets there, y'all know what to do. So they smothered him to death. Okay? And you black folk think you're so in love with blackness. You take your children to... to Circus to the zoo, <laughs> Disneyland to see a rat, but haven't been to King's grave, hmm? right down the street in D.C. And that's what the game is, All right. and it's up to you. So anybody else that can it. All right, Greg, eight hundred four five zero. 
7876. Brother Tyreek has been home for a while. Brother Tyreek, you're on with Dick Greg. Brother Ty, God bless you and the family. Yep. Brother Tyreek, brother. This is Brother Tyreek out in L.A., Santa Monica, bro. Yes, sir. Love you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, brother. So much for your uh, for your spirit and, and what you do all these years. Yeah, brother. Uh, I watched the Hollywood production last night. And if we think that there was an election last night, then we got another thing coming. Because that was one of the grandest Hollywood productions they've had since since 68 when, when they got you as president and had to take it back. Yeah, so. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> no, you know what? You know what? I'd have asked for a recount if you white boys didn't mess this stuff up. But let me just say something real quick. It ain't just the Democrat, Republican. When when you had Condoleezza Rice, she had more PhDs than Bush's mm -hmm. own cabinet, and they called her Condi. Condi. Right. Okay. That's right. You yep. hear me? And she accepted it. And one day I told a friend, I said, you tell her, I said that they got a soda pop blacker than her. They call Dr. Pepper. <laughs> and if you go to hey, 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 Greg, hey, hey Greg, you, you know that the, the, uh, the, the uh, Democratic Party hacks have been caught adding the vote in Florida. The lady told on them and they got caught. Plus, they, they, the Veritas Foundation is suing Hillary and the DNC for for uh, vote fraud and and uh, all the fixing of the vote and all this kind of stuff. So this ain't over at, at all, and the truth is coming out already. Well, it's it's just, come on, it's, if you understand your power, yes, I'm not talking about you. Listen, it's yeah, well, noon every day. Today we do it. That's yes, sir. Great. I mean, that the truth, yep. what happened this way, will out. come out. Now, you can't mess yep. with God. No. Nope. You can't ask God. You can do the church like that. But you can't mm -hmm. ask God. I don't believe my son did and let the truth come out. You didn't say my son didn't do it. Please let them know. No, when the truth comes out, you take it anyway. If the, what you said wasn't true, it'll come out. That's all. And then leave it alone. Leave it alone. Plus, you Plus, you know that the Skump man is going to be on trial in a week or two for a fraud uh, at the at the Skump University. So it's, it's 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 a real mess that we got coming up. So the truth, it will come out, and we will see that there really was no election. It's a yeah, well, election. not only this, they can kill, they can kill, uh, 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 kill the woman today. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, she committed suicide. Hmm? That's right. That's what they do all the time. And everybody, all the time. and then there's all these people we never heard. Oh, yeah, we was at dinner last night. She just said, I don't feel like living no more. <laughs> and also, there are, there are, there are more than 1.5 million black women missing as well. No, that's a, that's a that's different that's story. Listen, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah, oh, I know, I know. <laughs> I say a New York Times story. Huh? Right, that's right. Mm -hmm. You didn't say where you got the source from. It don't make no difference. Oh, oh, well, well I can, I certainly show it. I can certainly get it. Well, I, I didn't say that. Right. Saying, I, I, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. What I'm saying clear. is, if you knew about that, then you knew about the 1.5 black men, right? That's right. And yeah. you know they had that planet right above us. You know that too, don't you? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. That's all I'm saying. Yes, sir. You know, and if they yep. stealing women, do you know if they stealing them for body parts or they got a sex thing going where they send them around the world? Oh, the world. there you go. Now you're talking. Yes, sir. Um, All right, man. I love you to life, brother. Keep, thank keep, you, up, keep up the great. Nice, yes, sir. Peace and love. Nice to 800-450-7876. Winston's calling us from D.C. on line two. Winston, you have a question for Dick Gregory. Yeah, I just, I was going to reiterate something that the brother just said because I remember Walter Clark uh, reiterated that, uh, that Gregory, uh, when those ballots were cast, in Dick's name, and they said it must have been, I must say, it must have been Dick Nixon. Is yeah. that correct, Gregory? Yes. <laughs> no, let me tell you what I told him. He interviewed Walter Clark, LBJ, five different days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Somebody gave me a call that I trust and said, about the interview. And he said, and um, and now they're not going to run it. 
So I called some folks. And I'd always thought LBJ had something to do with the shooting of Kennedy. Until on one of the days he was interviewing, and here's what LBJ said. This wasn't running live, he was going to run it later. He said, I always thought that Lee Harvey Oswald had something to do with the assassination of Kennedy. But now I know it was a conspiracy. I'm not saying he wasn't part of it, but they couldn't have pulled it off. The next day after that, his LBJ got sick. Lady Bird was in town. At that time, Austin, Texas, was one of the better known hospital places to deal with heart condition. So she was in town, so she hurried up to the hospital and she waited and he never got there. Come to find out, they picked him up and carried him all the way across Texas to Brook Army Hospital, which is the world's number one burn center. Okay. So they waiting for him at the hospital. They carried him to the burn. So when I see Cronkite, and we were fantastic friends. And I said, hey, man, how come you didn't run the story? He said, how you know about it? I said, I even got the tape you didn't know you had. And I said, but. He said, well, CBS overruled me. And I looked him in the eyes and said, my grandmother don't call CBS Uncle Walter. She calls you Uncle Walter. And so you look at all of the stuff that go down and go down, but the time is over. The time is over. And once you understand that, talk about what are we going to do? I'll keep you here on the call show. What are we going to do? You ain't going to do a damn thing. There's a car for sale, and it's a Rolls Royce, and it's selling for $100 million. You're going to keep saying, what am I going to do about it? You ain't going to do a damn thing. Go get you a bicycle. Hmm? You waste your time talking about what you're going to do about it. If your daughter finished med school and became one of the world's greatest brain surgeons, what are you going to do about it? We need brain surgeons. You know how many years it took her to get that knowledge? You're going to call up and listen to a radio show and hear something and want to know what you can do about it. Nothing, nothing at all. Just thank God you got a radio station where you can get the information and just keep looking for the information and then just be quiet. The universe will take care of you. Your hair grow. You didn't have to go to Harvard to get your hair grow. Pull off your shoes tonight. You got five toes on each foot. You ain't never had a mistake made where your, one of your toes come where your eyes should be. And your nose come where your knees should be. Why don't you bet on a system that never made a mistake instead of you going through all this rock, rock stuff? So thank you, brother. Thank you. Eight hundred four five zero. Yeah. Can I ask one, one more question? Real quick. Okay. Look, Jay, I know you remember the uh, piece that was on the internet where my Brutus Brutus told them that Ben Lott was assassinated in two thousand one, and she knew who did it. And they took it off the net? No, 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 no one real quick. Man. No, 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 tell me. No, I'm getting a muffle. Tell me what he just said. He said about the assassination of, of uh, Osama bin Laden. The day Osama bin Laden was, was, was killed December 01. Okay? Okay? By the same guy that beheaded the Wall Street Journal paper guy. Okay? Now we come back and we're looking at TV. And we hear somebody say, we got him, we got him, we got him. All of us over here laugh. Now, let me tell you what happened. Real quick. Because the TV networks gets that free, that's taxpayers' money. So then they passed the law and said, baseball, one day a week on Sunday, you have to have it on NBC, CBS, or ABC. Since the taxpayers have paid for this research. So everybody's looking at the ball game in Philadelphia Sunday night, and then they cut from the ball game to this huge TV screen at the ballpark in Philadelphia, and they said, "We got him! We got him!" Now, what day was that? That was Sunday, and here's the score: it was ninth inning, tied one to one. Now, is that nine one one? <laughs> is that 9 
more and more. <laughs> this is what they do. And they got people making millions to figure out how they're going to do that. If you look at the trouble that, 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 that the president uh, uh, Clinton got in with Monica Lewinsky, he is a, a unemployed, plump, little Jewish girl is threatening the most powerful man in the world. And they showed you the pictures of them hugging on the White House lawn. Thousands of people pull that picture up and you see everybody in that picture had on white summer t-shirts. She had on a navy pea coat and a winter hat. And he had on a winter suit. And then when you look, that picture was cropped in there, okay? So y'all just sit and look, okay? You make like you can't make a car, then why try, okay? So you looking at that stuff on TV, and they do everything they can. I, I damn near beat a rabbit to death. We, 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 got, okay, we got to hold the rabbit story till next time. We got to run. We're out of time. All right, uh, thank fine. you. All right, thank you. Thank you. Dick Gregory, folks. Hey, listen, we got to get out of here. Stay strong, stay positive, stay in the light. See you tomorrow, 4 o'clock, right here on 1450. WOL, where information is power.